I'd like to share with you on this week's Pasha Kisisa something very nice from the Rebbe's father. The Gemara in Chulin, the Kufla Metes Ahmed Beis, asks a question Mordechai Minatoide Minayan. From where do we have a hint of Mordechai in the Torah? Like Amida the Remiza Baraisa, we know that everything is hinted in the Torah. Where do we have the name or the whole story of Mordechai and Purim <coughs> in the Torah? So the Gemara says they take from this week's Parsha, Kisisa. We have the mitzvah from the psalmim, the spices that were brought every day in the Beis Hamikdash, and the first one was more the royer, a certain type of spice. The Targum translates what's more the royer says these words. Meira Dachya. Meira spelled Mem Yud Reish Aleph Meira Dachya, <coughs> like pure spices. Dalet Chof Yud Aleph. Ask Rabbi. So we have over here the hint more the Chai. Ask Rabbi Yitzchak if you're taking the name. Seems like more the Chai from the Targum for the translation from more the Roar, you don't use all, all the letters up. Because Meira is spelled Mem Yud Resh Aleph, and you're only taking out the letters Mem Resh Mar, from the first two letters of Mordechai. So you're leaving out the Yud and the Aleph. And then from Dach Yo, which is spelled Dalet Chof Yud Aleph, you're leaving out the Aleph. <coughs> you're only using the letters Dalet Chof Yud, which means from Meira you're taking Mem Resh, from Dach Yo you're taking Dalet Chof Yud, and together you have a Mordechai. But why do you leave out some of the letters? Explains Rabbi Levitz something very, very interesting. According to the Gematria, and this is his special style. So first he says, you know, the word drawer <coughs> adds up to 410. And that is the same numerical value as twice the word, the, the name of the month, Ador. Ador is, Aleph Dalad is 205. Twice Adar, Adarishin, Adashani, that's the month when, where Haman wanted the Hashem kill the Yidin, the Gzera. So, and we have two others. Twice Adar adds up to Dror. So the word Dror is hinted to the months of Adar. Here, Rabbi Kamar Rabbi Yitzhak explains why the name Mordechai is not used all the letters of the Targum. So first we know the Targum <coughs> is a language of the nations. It is the words that came from Hashem, which is considered holy. And then the Targum is, shows on the nations of the world and other languages as a, a concealment on, on Hashem to a certain extent. Now if you take the word, these two words, Meria, Meira Dachya, and add it up, you'll see an interesting thing. Meira adds up Mem Reish Yud Aleph adds up to 251. Dach Yo Dalet Chof Yud Aleph adds up to 35. <coughs> Add it up together, 251 and 35, you have 286. 286 is exactly the same numerical value as poor. Pei Vov Reish, 286. So in the words Meira Dach Yo, in the Targum of the nations of the world, is symbolized the gezerah what Haman wanted to bring upon the Jewish people. The poor, like it says in the Megillah, he will poor this Haman through a lottery, who had girl. So poor, which name of Purim, symbolizes the gezerah, the nations of the world who want to, 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 to destroy the Jewish people. So in the Targum, is hinted in the name, in the older letters, Meira Dachya, hinted the poor, the gezerah. And that's why it's Targum. The Chachomim, and the name of Mordechai was, wasn't all the letters. Because if you take the letters of Mordechai, Mem Resh, Dalet Chof Yud, adds up to 274. 274, says Rabbi Levi Yitzchak, <coughs> he brings down from Darizal, is the same numerical value as Rav Chesed. Abundance, abundance of kindness. Rav is 202, Chesed is 72, together it's 274. So Mordechai, without the, those other three letters, the Yud, Aleph, Aleph, and Meir, Dachyo, just the letters Mem, Reish, Dalet, Chof, Yud, adds up to Rav Chesed. They especially wanted to call Mordechai with Rav Chesed. 
to teach you this beautiful explanation. It says in Chassidus, there's two types of chesed, kindness of Hashem. One is called chesed oilom, that we have explains in the Torah, and one is called rav chesed. Chesed oilom means it's a chesed, kindness of Hashem, that comes down into the limitations of the world, and you, it's over there, it's calculated. Should you earn it? Should you not? If you're not worthy of earning it, you have to earn it, so to say. You have to be a, a vessel for it. <coughs> it's not for everyone. Not everyone gets it. But when you have a time when the Ebishta reveals the higher level, Rav Chesed, the abundance of Chesed, then nothing stops in the way. And it's a Chesed, it's a kindness, a revelation of God, the revelation all over the whole world and for the entire Jewish people. And this was the Gilui. This was the Ness, the miracle of Purim. It wasn't only Chesed. It was Rav Chesed. It's such a great miracle for the entire Jewish nation, as we all know. So this is what the Chacham wanted to hint. Mordechai, you don't have all the letters of the Targum, which symbolizes the poor, symbolizes the, the Gzeira, the, the, the Kri against the Jewish people. But here, Mordechai symbolizes through his koyach, he was the Nossi, he was the Rebbe of that generation. And he brought down Rav Chesed, abundance of kindness, and that was the Yeshua of Purim. So you see the beautiful meaning and reason why he was called Davke Mordechai, not all the letters. And this is Targum, brings out the beautiful explanation.